everyone, I'm Yolanda Soto Lopez from the Opcast channel. I hope you enjoyed today's video tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so, that way you never miss a new video. If you see anything you like, be sure to hit that like button, put any comments below, and let's get the party started! <laughs> Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to cast on stitches onto a knitting needle using a crochet hook. And this is especially useful if you have a large number of stitches to cast on, like say 50 or more, um, then you would not have to use a long tail. The long tail of course would require you to have the enough yarn on your tail to be able to work those. That tail is part of the stitches that you're working. With this method you won't need to do that. So for here, let me go ahead and pull these stitches out and then we'll show you how this has worked. In today's video, I'm going to be using a six and a half knitting needle. It's a six and a half millimeter, excuse me, knitting needle. And so here I'm going to be using a hook that's six millimeters. It would be best to use a six and a half. I didn't have one handy, but this should be okay. And so it's important that we use the as close to the same sizes because this will make sure that we're getting the right um, this right size and it'll be a lot easier to work than if you try to use a big needle and a small hook it's just not going to work as nicely so that's just one tip okay for you. so to begin the cast on we're going to do it um, with we're going to start with the hook so here I still want you to leave a little bit of a tail so that it's easier to weave in at the end you're just going to make a slip loop like you normally do and pull out your yarn on the crochet hook just like that I mean these stitch markers now I like to get this tail sometimes I'll wrap it like this just to keep it out of the way when I'm working when I first start so now you're gonna get your needle you're gonna bring it in front of the yarn so you can see here that the yarn is coming from behind the first one is the hardest to do you're just gonna bring the yarn to the front of the needle to the front of the needle just like that you're gonna grab that yarn and pull it through your slip loop so that is the first stitch and you can kind of see what it looks like in the back there so that is the first one now once you do that first one it looks kind of weird because you got one on each one it's important to remember when to bring the yarn to the back and now it's going to be a lot easier you're just going to grab the yarn pull it through your slip loop there through your little um, loop there and that's the second one bring the yarn to the back again grab the yarn from the front of the needle pull it through, that's the third stitch, bring that to the back. And that's how you repeat doing as many stitches as you need. Now the thing that I tend to find myself is that I tend to do it too tightly, so I need to remind myself, don't work so tightly, relaxed. And one thing you also need to rem remember is that this loop on the needle will count as a stitch. In crochet, this does not count as a stitch, but here it would be. So if we looked at how many stitches we actually have here, it would be one, two, three, four, and then five. So that is how you just continue doing it. Bring your yarn to the back, grab, bring through. Yarn to the back, grab our yarn, bring it through the loop. Through the back, grab your yarn, bring it to the loop. Grab your yarn to the, put it to the back, grab the yarn, bring it to back, over, and then through. Just like that. So it's just back, over, and then through. So let's pretend. You can uh, rewind that um, video as many times as you need. So let's just pretend that this is the number of stitches you need it. Remember we have to count this one. So it's be two, four, six, eight, nine, and then this one would be the tenth one. When you're done, like say you need a ten stitches, we're gonna have to slip this one onto the needle. We don't want to slip it just straight like this because our yarn will not be twisted in the right direction. So you're just gonna bring your yarn, bring it, bring your hook to the back, then grab it, put it over the needle like that. So you grab your hook, bring it to the back, over the needle, Take out your hook, and there you're done. So here, then we would have our 10 stitches, and we would be ready to begin knitting our stitches, and there would be no need for that long tail cast on that a lot of people fear. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be doing some videos that are designed specifically for crocheters who want to knit. So be sure to subscribe, hit that like button. You can also please follow me on my Facebook page, allcraftschannel.com, and go to my blog, allcraftschannel.com, and you can see the different products I'm working on there. Have a great day, and remember always that God loves you.